Hello everyone and welcome back to me building decked out. Last episode we built this bad boy which is the entire shop all built and ready to go and be played. I'm super happy with how this shop has come out um, other than getting the ravager in here. I um, still have not done that but I will get to it. Today is all about the card processor, and this is probably going to take a while to get done. We have to make the card shuffler, the transportation of the shulker box. We have to build the shulker box, taking out the cards and putting the cards back into the shulker box. We have to actually program every card that I currently know that exists in the dungeon. We have to add stumble. We have to add... Just a ton of crazy redstone that needs to be done today. All right, so first is right here. I've already done a little bit of prep work, but basically when you put your shulker box into there, it is going to pop out down here, which I've, as you see, we already have shulker boxes. Now I need to make an instant dropper line, um, which I have no clue how the redstone works. I barely figured it out myself, but it does work, which will come all the way over here to then be able to be processed. And right here is going to be the entire card processor, and I'm thinking it might even go down that way as well. All right, so like I said, I'm making a instant dropper line, meaning this is some redstone that I have absolutely no clue how it works. I know Tango has used them before, and he also has no clue how it works. It's basically just just nutty redstone that I don't, don't understand. I need more droppers. All right, so all the droppers are set up and ready to go. Next up is is adding observers upside down like this and then adding a activator rail right there and with that all of the observers are in place so that is the base design set up um, all that's left is add putting the activator rails so basically they will look like that where it goes along and then that and then it somehow glitches the activator rails so they're always on and then when you update at the end here when you update this by pushing out the sticky piston it turns on this which then will shoot a long signal down which then automatically brrr, activates all the droppers at once and that's my basic understanding of it um i think it's basically a glitch but it works and so i'm gonna do it <laughs> All right, so now I have to place the activator rails. I'll be back when it's done because this could get very finicky. I forgot how to do it. Ah, Figured it out. It is a big mess. So in case you uh, are trying to build an instant dropper line, I'm going to fully explain it. Okay, so basically you want to put this first. Like here, also I'm in my create world. I am not cheating. <laughs> and then you want to make sure to put the rail on the outside first so that way they are not connecting. And now we're basically just going to update this rail. So we delete that one and then do that. So now it is not connecting. And then we're going to delete this rail and then update it again, which then will do that. I'm doing terrible at explaining this. And then to put this rail back, because if you just put it back there, it's just going to switch back over. You want to do that, that, and then that. And there you go. That is everything. It is a big pain in the butt, but I finally remembered how to do it. <laughs> um, so now I just have to do that in my survival world and uh, everything should be working. As you see, the power lines are like always on. But then if you go ahead and go over here and do that, it like sends an update and it's it's insane redstone that I just do not understand how it works. After a bit of time, I have went ahead and finished up the Insta Dropper line. It is almost working. I just got to do this part, but that should be two seconds. All right. So everything is set up. It's really simple. It's just a comparator reading the item go through and it goes through. It sends out a pulse over here, which then activates the sticky piston, which then boops it out. Let's go ahead and come over here. We will put a uh, rocket in here and it should fire immediately. Just like that and there should be a rocket in the hopper over here. There is, which means it worked perfectly. <sighs> it took me a while to figure out how to do those rails again, but this is such a needed step to the card processor because before I had a water stream, uh, this was way before, um, and it took forever for the cards to be able to get over here to be able to unload. It's very important that this is set up perfectly like this. All right, now with that set up, um, it should be able to fully work where the deck comes out. And since they are droppers, it will not dispense the shulker box, which would be very bad if that happened. So next is 
the one and only card unloader. So basically a shulker unloader that we have to build. That should not be that bad. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. All right, everyone. After some time, I have gone ahead and set up this setup. Um, uh, it is... It looks complicated, but it's when you really break it down, it's not that bad of redstone. So this is just a shulker unloader. It's very simple. Basically, the shulker gets dispensed right there. And then when it finishes dragging out all of the items, it then gets pushed into this hopper, which then will come down here and get automatically dispensed. Um, and all the items will come down this line. All the cards are going to come down this line here. Right here is going to be the permanent cards. Now... I only planned on having three permanent cards um, right now, uh, not including legendaries. Legendaries are going to be a completely different, I don't know how many permanent cards they're going to be. Um, so right now I have a lot of slots that can be filled up. Um, and do I think I'm going to fill them all up? No, I don't think there's going to be that many legendary permanent cards. So I think the amount of permanent cards here will work perfectly fine. And then here here is the card shuffler i could try to explain it all but this is completely just tango's version of the card shuffler i can try to explain it it's better to demonstrate it more droppered from the instant dropper line it will get dropped right here into this hopper which then will go right here which then will get spewed out here and then right now it is fully emptying all the things and at the end the shulker box and only the shulker box gets pulled out right there which then gets pulled down now all of the cards should be in this chest boat there should be nine items in this chest boat which there is which is perfect now any permanent card would get sucked out before the game even starts and would be activated now the only flaw with this design which isn't really a flaw i don't think anybody's ever going to do it but um you cannot do zero card runs the shulker box will get stuck right here because there's no items it cannot read anything you could do a one card run but you cannot do a zero card run which nobody's gonna do anyways right so all of the items are in here right now um i'm going to have to do this manually uh because i don't want to turn on the entire game when the game starts it will go ahead and do it'll pull over which then will turn off the redstone and then we'll do that which then will send out one item and as you see the items are filling back up and there should be eight left yes there is and then we can go ahead and do it again. And this time we got the glass that came out. And now there's eight. And we'll do it one more time. Let's see what comes out this time. We got the daylight sensor. And it fills it all back up. And there it is, the seven. I mean six, sorry. Right. So obviously that is all working at the end of the game, which is right now. Uh, it'll turn off this torch, which then will defeat this hopper clock, which then will turn off the redstone, which then will suck out all the items into there. Now there is a slight chance an ethereal card gets pushed through the system at the last second. And if that happens, there's nothing I can do really. Um, the game is over, so it does that. And now all the items get pushed right out there there should be six that is six and it is done all the items will be sent back over to to here which then will have the insta dropper line which then will come up here and go right into here which then will go right down here into this thing into the barrel so i'm really happy with the progress that i made so far everything about this section right here has changed for my creative world because let's be real the new card processor that tango made is better so that is everything set up for the card shuffler and the shulker unloader now i have to go through the grueling grueling process of building up the basically item sorter for all of the cards and that is going to take a while all right everyone after 
about a day's work of doing this it is all almost set up so i've gone ahead and set up the item sorter the system where you get the cards back into your deck the music disc player even though the music disc aren't in there yet the card limit system and also the system where this is where all the cards are going to be programmed don't you love all the h's i'm going to remove that <laughs> so this is all set up and ready to be programming all the cards um i also did the permanent cards over here uh no, none of them programmed but they are ready to be programmed and ready to go at the end of the game all the items get speed out here and they're all going to connect right here which will be the shulker reloader to then be sent over here to go back up now one of the things that has changed that i think is cool that i kind of came up with so tango kind of had to scratch the entire uh how many cards can be played in a deck he was kind of just going by the honor code and got rid of the system where for each card there was like three items in here um and after it plays three times this turns off which then unblows powers this which then can't get the signal through so if you have say a rare card which can only have three per deck if you put four in there it will only play the three um, but he had to kind of scratch that idea because of this new shuffle idea but i think i found a solution to where i can still do the card limiter and the shuffler at the same time so if you didn't know the shuffler basically reshuffles the next card or how many cards into the deck that so if you played a shuffle card which then activates shuffle and then if you played a sneak the sneak would get recycled right back into your deck to then be played again in the future obviously this won't work on permanent cards and whatever if you play a sneak card three times and one of them gets shuffled that is four sneak cards which then would break this system here and the fourth recycled card would never play but what my plan is when the shuffle is activated this line will these redstone blocks will de-extend so basically we'll just break them right now uh, but there will be sticky piston attached to these and then these will de-extend which then will turn on these torches and what this does is when shuffle is activated these torches stay on now these torches are powering all of these droppers and as you see these torches are also powering all these droppers now how the system works is when the card gets played this torch turns off and then back on which then spews over the item but if there's two torches powering the same dropper when this torch turns off and on this torch just keeps it on so it doesn't bother the system so when the card gets processed it'll get spewed out over here at the uh, after being finished processed and then it will come down here and there will be a pressure plate to send a signal over to the shuffler uh system which i have not built yet um to then turn on this redstone line again which then will turn off these torches which then will activate the uh card limiter so basically it just canceled out for the next card because the shuffler is active and we know that the card is going to be going back into the deck the only thing i didn't think about is ethereal cards maybe ethereal cards don't work for shuffle because i feel like that's kind of cheap if you get a shuffle card and then you get an ethereal so maybe it just skips that one so you still play the ethereal but technically the one after ethereal is the one that gets shuffled i do want to put a symbol on the map of how many um shuffles you have or if you have shuffle activated i think that would be really cool i think tango talked about that um so that is something i want to do so that way it's easy to tell so if you had an ethereal card play it will go through it will play the ethereal card but it will not count as the shuffle because i feel like that's cheap if you get a shuffle card and then you get a ethereal card by the chance and uh you miss out on your shuffle because it was an ethereal all right i like that okay so it still works out uh, how i wanted to do it so that's really exciting long explanation over now we are going to go ahead and try to build up we're going to try to build the card packer right here so so for the cards going in we have one two and three so these two are coming together right here so i think if i put it right there right there it'll be perfect which then also gives me space to put hoppers and pressure plates and whatever i need to do here um for cards and stuff because i know for, for stumble we need a recycling kind of thing for how about like that so we could try to squeeze the stumble into there um because there is a chance that stumble comes out of here which would not be good so um what else do we have to do i'm not even sure okay 
when you're running low on materials it really starts to get painful so this has got to be upside down here uh, this can be all turned to glass now so this is where the water stream is going to be coming we gotta put a dispenser right on the side of that block sometimes like i'm glad i built in the middle of the air but at the same time sometimes it's very difficult to place things all right so under this hopper is not there <laughs> okay now you guys see what i have to do every time i build something you're wondering why i'm going crazy i'm going crazy that is actually the lowest block so we should not have to fly anymore so that's good uh there can be a hopper on top of here so this is just, I'm going to have to change the height of this, but it will just come right over here. All right. I, uh, I made an oopsie and I had to re rebuild everything I just did. Uh, three down from where it was. And I'll explain why later. There's also going to be a hopper going into there. So basically the shulker box is going to be right here. So that is everything about the shulker loader built. Um, I'm sure you guys know how shulker loaders work and whatnot mine is a little bit different so once i set that up i'll explain why it's a little bit different all right so how this entire system works is quite simple uh, when the shell crick gets launched it lands right here and will land right inside this hopper and immediately get dispensed and ready for stuff to go into it so it'll just sit here for the entirety of the game and uh during the game cards get ejected when they're played so they get ejected here and they get dropped down and will land right inside of this barrel now this barrel uh this hopper will be turned off meaning nothing can get sucked out of the barrel so the cards will be just collecting here the entirety of the game allowing for items to get stored up cards that were played and then the stumble just has to be make sure to put like right here so stumbles can't get through into this barrel at the end of the game this hopper will turn off which then will allow the items to go through the items will then automatically be dispensed into the hopper down here which then will set off a chain. You know what? I'm looking at this and I'm not even sure how this works or if this works. So I think I'm just going to do a test. Now, if my test works, then good. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So how am I going to... We're going to have to fully set up everything for the test to work. I'm honestly... I'm looking at it and I'm just like, how does this work? How am I not losing items? And I do not have an answer for you. So the best way to do it is just to test it and hope that everything works. This will connect to an etho hopper clock, uh, basically the same etho hopper clock that this line is connected to, which is going to be turned on the entire time. That's how that works. Then when the game is finished, it'll send a signal to then turn it off, which then will reset everything. My only worry is like, how does the piston know to not push the shulker box i just don't remember exactly how this works that's how um so basically this line here i'm still going to test it because i want to so basically what i'm saying is every time an item comes to this hopper it makes this pulse extender activate um if there's only one item the pulse extender will activate then deactivate which then will activate the piston and send it out um if there's a consistent amount of items coming through so one two three four every time an item goes through it resets the pulse extender so if you have 40 cards coming through the uh, pulse extender will never turn off because the pulse extender is longer than at the time that it would take to get through i didn't remember how it was the cards were getting here before it even set off because there's going to be cards already in this barrel meaning that as soon as this turns off these barrels are going to go and then the items will turn off before these even get here um, but basically what i did was i just put a really long delay on this line turning off which then allowed it these these cards to start rolling in and then i'll turn off the line which then will have it all work out i still would like to test it though so the water streams should be all set up and ready to go meaning that i am should be able to test it so there's a couple things i want to test first of all i have not really tested over there so here is going to be our permanent cards Obviously, it won't stay on right now because this purple line isn't connecting to anything. The card getting ex extracted. That's basically what I'm trying to test real quick is the card coming out. So we're going to sort one of these with stone. Boom. And put one down there. Okay, so that is sorted. Then we're going to sort one of these just randomly. Let's just do this one, I guess, with purple wool. All right, so now we have to make a deck. So we have, we'll do 32 purple wool and six and one stone for the permanent card. 
Let's see how quickly that works. Hopefully I see a stone shoot out this time. I forgot which one it is. So all the 32 purple wool are flowing through right now. I did not, oh. I saw it activate, but I did not see it shoot out. It is in there, hold on. Oh, so basically at the end of the game, since I couldn't find a way to push out a signal, um, at the end of the game, a purple wool will also just come up here and shoot out a signal. One pulse, because permanent cards are only one per deck. So it did work, just not the way it was intended. So if we do that, there's so many little things that I for completely just forget about. So if we do that, it then shoots it out. All right, so that is all working. Uh, in, in quotes, the purple wool is the only thing that I really just do not have set up yet. Um, so now all the items should be in this chest boot. 32 purple wool. So we have a 32 purple wool deck right now. Now if we come over here, do that, and do that. Sends it out, goes over here, comes down, gets spewed back out, which means it was processed, and gets right back into there. What's going on? Why was that going off? I'm not sure, <laughs> but it didn't spew out any more cards, I don't think. Yeah, 31 was in there. So let's do it again, see what's going on. Oh, it's re-adding up the items. It's re-putting the items back into the thing. Okay, so that's what's going on. So there should be 30 left. So we're missing one. There it is. Um, and then there should be two items down in this barrel here. And three redstone from when I was messing up. So that is working. So now if we come over here. Do that. So all the items should be dispersing right now. And then if we go ahead and break that. It is fully loading up right as we speak. And as you see, it is reloading the thing and that might have been it. And we wait. And then it re-extends. Do we have a 32 purple wool sugar box in here? Yes, we do. So, perfect. I don't see any flaws. And they worked perfectly in my creative world, so I'm sure it works perfectly here. The only thing I do not have set up is the purple wool. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and get some work done off camera. Because right now, at recording it, it is 1.30, a.m. I have all week next off. New Year's week, I have all week off. So I'm going to be grinding out Minecraft and trying to get this card processor done to get this video out. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought with Christmas, for, uh, visiting family and, and whatnot. Um, it, this video is taking a little bit longer than I wanted to get out, but that is okay. But actually programming all the cards is going to be a different beast in itself. Um, but I really want to get it done. Because that means level one is just fully playable. So I'm going to go ahead and get some work done. And I'll be back in a bit. All right, everyone. After a bit more work, I've gotten some more stuff done. So I've gone ahead and set up all of the purple line. Basically, as I said, it's an etho hopper clock. When the game turns off, it'll power this and then give a signal to the etho hopper clock, which then will push it over for a certain amount of time to give it time to refresh everything. This line goes to four different things um first it comes over here and deactivates all these sticky pistons which then deactivates this line which then allows any items in these hoppers to flow back over to the droppers it also comes over to the permanent cards and releases the permanent cards as well it also comes over here which then hits this oh there's five things that actually hits <laughs> which then hits the dropper. Um, I had to make this one a barrel, so this one's probably going to be Schmeet, because um, Schmeet is the pork chop power, um, which is an ethereal meaning. It does not need to get dispensed back into the water stream, which worked out perfectly. Um, this could have been a lot easier if I remembered that the barrel needed to be done there. Whatever, I already built it, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, then it also comes down over here, which then we have the delay thing as I was talking about, and then it comes on down to here, which then hits the target block. And then for the final way, it comes down this line to this line, which then redirects the water. So basically this glass gets pushed down and this glass gets pushed up, which then redirects the water down this path. So if an item miraculously out of the 90% chance of this not happening, um, 
gets pushed out at the very last second, there is a 0.2 chance that it can get redirected here. If it's over here already, it is too late and is going to be processed. That is the best I can do to try to stop that from happening. Uh, but sadly, if it is farther than right here, when the game turns off, it it, it is over. Yeah, dude, the card will be played. Oh yes, I also did the Insta Dropper line into the Bubble Vader going up here, going into the barrel. So that is all set up. Um, so technically, with that all set up, I can play a game, put my deck at the top, play a game, and get my deck back how it was up there. Where it stands right now, I can do that. Um, none of the cards will be programmed, and I might have to only use a deck of purple wool to get everything back, or a stone block that would work as well. Um, only one. But if I did that, it could work. I am not going to test it right now fully because I, I have so much more work that I just need to do before then but there is some other things i did down here is where stumble gets pulling off hello creeper i don't like seeing a creeper there <laughs> this, so this one is where stumble gets taken off and it will come down this line and then get dispensed right here going up this long bubble elevator to wherever stumble will be another thing i did is make this very messy redstone over here very compact and very annoying uh, it was a pain to design this because as i said all of this is basically changed for my creative world. I am just going on whim and big brain moments here. Uh, but basically this pressure plate will go off every time a card comes through, basically giving a signal and this signal will hit any card processor that needs to know when a card gets activated. So B sense is one of them and I'm honestly not sure what else, but I know B sense is one of them that needs that. Um, and then the other one is if I have a skip the next card you play, this hopper will deactivate. It is deactivated, but this target block would be on with this repeater. Um, and then it will suck out any card. It will come down here. This will get tripped because the item will go through, hit these two repeaters, and then drop out right here and then go on down. And it wouldn't just be completely skipped that next card. All right. That is everything I've done so far. Um, it doesn't look like that that much, but I promise it was like two days of work and I have a couple of more things to do and one of them is mainly stumble which I will do in a bit and of course programming all of the cards now I'm just going to cut to when that is all done and hopefully everything is done because this video is already getting long and I just want this to be done I want to just sit down put on some music and grind this out I am so scared right now but after days of work of designing this in creative and then bringing it over to survival and researching in tango's dungeon of redstone that i should take from him i think everything is ready to go and the reason why i'm nervous is because i haven't tested it like at all i tested all the cards individually and obviously we know that the card processor works but i also added some other systems let me just walk you through what i did there's a lot more redstone now um, so first we have the beacon systems. Now the beacon system, I'm not really that worried about working. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, I don't think there's going to be any problems, but I'm nervous that it's not going to work. But here's all the redstone. It looks super crazy. I actually really love how this looks. It kind of looks like some crazy sci-fi thing, um, but it looks, I'm, I'm happy with how it came out. It's pretty organized. As you see, we have a ton more space for the legendary cards and any future things that I want to add, which is great down here we got the shuffle system the skip the scar the skip the card system i filtered everything out i filled the shop i filled up pork chop power and uh, suit up which took a day in itself i don't know everything i think is working there's some cards that just will not work right now for example this cobblestone line is going to the door to level two the door to level two is not built. Uh, there is no level two. So there's some cards for like example, I forgot what it's called. But uh, when you open the door, it blocks six clank or I don't remember how many. So it blocks clank when you open a door going to level two. Obviously, I wouldn't do that right now because there is no level two. There's some other cards like Pirate's Booty where it drops three ethereals on level two. That doesn't work right now because there is no level two. Um, so some of these cards are actually not finished I think this is Pirate's Booty right here. Yeah. Going to droppers on level two. There's another one. I forgot what it is. All the music discs are in and ready to go. Everything. Everything is done. If this works, 
exactly how I imagine it to, level one is fully completed. Redstone, cards, shop. All right, enough delaying. All right, so here's all our cards. Um, as you can see, like I just mentioned before, we are not using a resource pack, so I'm using books. Obviously, it's a little bit harder to organize because all the cards look the same. But if you hover over them, you can see what they are. What are we bringing in? I want to bring in Second Wind because I want to see Sprint work and I want to see Regen work. I think that'd be great to see those both work. Uh, we got to bring in Schmeet because that is my favorite card. Stability, Speed, Evasion, Loot and Scoot, and Beast Sense. Uh, basically, when you're on easy mode, so obviously beginners would play on easy, people that are struggling would play on easy, activates resistance 2 for the entire run. Basically to help out the beginners, especially because on easy mode, if you remember, you can only get common cards. You can't get uncommon. All right, enough delaying, enough delaying. I hear you guys. You guys are yelling at me because I am stalling. I am totally stalling. Oh, by, by, by... I have that pit in my stomach, like nervousness. Well, that's a great start. Let's see if pork chops show up. Pork chops did not show up. Let's see what's going on. Speed. Speed? I didn't put speed in my deck. I'm very curious why I didn't get pork chop power. I didn't change the filters. Speed. Speed again? We got our deck back. Let's see what's going on. B sense stability, second wind speed is in there. And it reshuffled. Did it reshuffle itself? We gotta fly over there, see what's going on. See, the problem with these big redstone things is that you forget. You forget things. That's why I have a notepad to write things down, but you still forget. Let's go grab Shmeet and Clarity. So I forgot to put the ethereal name on them. As you see, it says ethereal on there, and I forgot to add that. So I had to rechange the name after I filtered everything. Now we now we test speed. So basically uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play speed. And if speed ends up back here, not God. Speed. Yep. <laughs> so speed just reshuffles itself over and over again. Not good, we don't want that. <laughs> All right, after working out some of the kinks and completely redesigning brilliance i think it is working again i don't know how tango traversed his dungeon with mine i can't even traverse and i'm in the middle of the air with a ton of space all right we got those i never watched the video or, or, or the replay mod so i'm hoping this just goes and server restart i forgot all right i'm gonna check this replay mod and just i'll be back so we're going back in with the same exact deck loot and scoot evasion stump stumble I should not have any stumbles. We're going to pray, pray that that was not from my deck. <sighs> Loot and Scoot, Evasion, Speed, Second Wind, Beast Sense, Stability, and Schmeet. Nothing ever goes right on the first try, but the second try, maybe it will. <laughs> oh, I'm lagging a little bit. The server's start, just started it. Yes! <laughs> I got my porky choppies. Speed. All right. So the next card should be reshuffled. Not this one. Oh. Uh oh. I have all my armor on. And all my tools. I got too excited to get inside. <laughs> uh. Also, that is clink going off, if you haven't noticed. Alright, so that should block some hazard. Clank is working. Ooh, I should be able to hear. Uh, hopefully, I have another card. I guess stability would count. Obviously, it's hard to tell right now without the map how we're actually doing. I mean, there seems to be a lot of treasure out right now. I can see all the Ravagers, so B-Sense is working. I think I'm going to take my win. Call it. Didn't even use all my pork chops. I want to see if I get my deck back correctly. I want to see the shop in action. And I'm going to have to definitely re-watch that footage back. Uh, mark down what I should have had. Because it's hard to remember. That's why the map's useful. Come on, give me something good. Come on, let's see what we get. <laughs> Hello? Why did this break? I haven't even been over here. And I, I haven't even really came over here. I did come over here and change the shop. Uh, so maybe I did something when I was over here. Uh, so yeah, let's go and buy a treasure hunter. And another Schmeet. Because I like Schmeet. I like to just not worry about food. It is the best feeling. We got our deck back. 
and I have it written in my phone, put it down, we should have two stumbles in our deck. Why is stumble not... Duh, I didn't change the filter again. Okay. But that went, in general, a lot better. Let's do one more run with this deck to make sure everything is perfect. No shmee, what am I gonna do? I walk by the berries. Okay. That's interesting. Beast sense I never set. Uh, that's right. That's right. Beast sense I never did a... No, it should have refreshed. Mm. It's okay. Speed. Okay, there's my second hazard. So my next card should be reshuffled. Oh, is it in here? Yes. Let's see if my next card is reshuffled. That's right, speed gives clank, so that's that's correct. Speed is such a good card. Oh, I never did that, did I? Loot and scoot. Ooh, loot and scoot got recycled? Let's go. Also, that's the reshuffle sound, if you didn't know. It's so much more fun with the card, man. I am tripping off a lot of shriekers. Evasion is actually coming to me very handy right now. Oh. Also, let me know what you guys think about the, the sounds. Obviously, I voice acted and edited all the sounds myself. Since I don't have money to pay for a sound guy. And I like doing sound stuff. I was actually the sound engineer for some plays in my high school. I haven't gotten second wind yet. Second wind. Thank you. Yes, regen and sprint. Let's go. Dude, every card seems to be working. Also, it's good that stumbles are working. Stumbles are up and working. Come on, please work. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Why that glitch before? But that's okay. We're obviously gonna buy an evasion. Also, by the way, I added this guy. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Little Stu was slain by nothing. I survived deck down. All right, so yes, we did get our treasure hunter and Schmeet, so I could have just put the Schmeet in my deck, but I'm an idiot. Uh, and we got the invasion. Perfect. Everything seems to be working. Um, so there is one thing that I need to check on, and that's why. Why did B Sense not reset? Oh, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, I changed this line because I had to move the sticky piston down because this redstone line was activating the sticky piston. I noticed that while changing brilliance, and I never changed this, so that line is not powering that line to reset. <laughs> Everything seemed to work. And that's scary. I mean, it seemed to work after like the third try. Um, and still there was a bug. When it works, it feels the absolute best. When it when it doesn't and, and you think you hear sprint, but I think it was actually speed. I'm, I'm so excited to edit and see if I was just stupid. Or if you forget to change the filters for stumbles and clarity and schmeet. Basically what I'm noticing is I just keep forgetting to do things. All in all, I did so much work for this god dang episode. I mean, this entire thing was not here. This wasn't even here. Oh my god, I did a lot. And you may be wondering, why did I do this to myself? Great question. And next episode, um, I'm planning on doing an even bigger feat. But the fact that all of level 1 is built is a massive achievement. And once I build level 2, that is when I'm going to bring in my brother for some testing and maybe some other friends for some testing because I don't know. I don't know if it's balanced. It's hard to tell. Well, I'm going to call it here. I have spent a lot of days working on this part of the series, and I'm so glad with how it turned out. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are here right now in this time of the video, it means a lot that you took the time out of your day to watch my silly little content of me building redstone until I stayed up to, what time is it? 12.23 a.m. again. Sleep schedule is scuffed. Oh, by the way, have a Discord. I have a Discord that is really cool. <laughs> Uh, we're talking up in there. Uh, I try to be as active as I can in there while getting work done and stuff and living my life. Feel free to stop on by. Other than that, I'm going to go play some Tango's version of Decked Out and take a break from my version because I need a little bit of a break. Uh, as A break is in like, I'll probably play tomorrow. All right. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Goodbye.